narcissists realize that you're not the stupid and weak person they previously thought. Hey there folks, and welcome back to our program. Today, we're delving into the intriguing realm of how narcissists perceive you, and why they perceive you as less than sharp. It's crucial to grasp this aspect when navigating interactions with narcissistic individuals. These characters come in various flavors, ranging from the overt to the covert, from the grandiose to the malignant. Each type displays unique behaviors, with some even exhibiting overlapping traits. However, the key takeaway is this. Narcissists are adept at deception, distortion of truth, and evading meaningful discussions or accountability. Why do they engage in such behavior? Simply put, it's to shirk responsibility. Unable to bear the weight of shame, they resort to manipulation to sidestep blame and secure their desires. In essence, they aim to dupe you because they perceive you as easily swayed. Right from the outset, a narcissist gauges your level of trust and tolerance. If you happen to possess a trusting nature or a generous heart, they'll exploit these traits to the fullest. They'll test your boundaries relentlessly, constantly pushing the envelope. For instance, if they fail to call you all night and then the next day commence gaslighting, offering excuses or questioning your actions, it's a ploy to cast you in a negative light for not believing them, despite them being the ones violating your boundaries. When dealing with narcissists, it's imperative to stand your ground, as they'll persist in their attempts to exert control over you. Keep in mind that narcissists come in various shapes and forms, and you might encounter them in different aspects of your life, whether it's in your romantic relationships, your marriage, your family dynamics, or even in your workplace. Consequently, understanding how your relationship with a narcissist operates becomes crucial. However, one consistent trait among all narcissists is their penchant for twisting the truth, gaslighting, and employing convoluted language. Why do they resort to such tactics? Simply put, they view you as unintelligent. For them, engaging in arguments or disputes is a cakewalk, as they thrive on manipulating and outsmarting you. No matter your emotions, engaging in a battle of wits with a narcissist only plays into their hands, reinforcing their belief in your supposed lack of intelligence. Engaging with an inflated ego in such a manner is akin to inviting trouble. It's vital to remain focused and well-informed. Equipping yourself with all the relevant facts and gaining a deep understanding of the issue at hand is essential. Many individuals have expressed concerns to me, lamenting statements like, they keep insisting on the narcissist, or, it's all my fault. However, it's crucial to remember that the words of the narcissist hold little significance. What truly matters is your response to their manipulations. It's a classic narcissistic tactic to shift blame onto others, indicating that you're dealing with a narcissist. They'll attempt to deflect responsibility and evade accountability at all costs. Engaging in a defensive argument with them only serves to diminish your power. Instead, it's wise to distance yourself from such individuals, recognizing that you're dealing with someone untrustworthy who is unlikely to offer the truth. Many individuals find themselves wanting closure in a relationship, hoping for the narcissist to own up to their misdeeds, whether it's infidelity or deceit regarding their aspirations. However, a fraudster will never concede to their wrongdoings. Instead, they prefer to bury them it's crucial to pay attention to their actions and behaviors in such situations. As I mentioned in a recent video, sometimes no response serves as a response itself. This is particularly evident with covert narcissists, who often communicate without words, such as through the silent treatment. By ignoring you and cutting off contact without explanation, they aim to hurt your feelings and undermine your sense of importance. 
This silent treatment is a common non-verbal tactic employed by many narcissists, especially those who operate covertly. Moreover, covert narcissists are notorious for backbiting and manipulating others to betray you, a technique known as triangulation. By involving third parties in their deceitful schemes, they isolate you and paint you as the villain. It's crucial to recognize these patterns and tactics and not be deceived by them. Narcissists often harbor a false sense of intelligence, which they use to gaslight others and sow confusion. They may deny events that you know occurred or claim to have no recollection of them to evade accountability. Additionally, they may suggest that you seek professional help, deflecting blame from themselves while undermining your character and credibility. It's essential not to engage in their manipulative games. Engaging in arguments with them only serves to validate their tactics, so it's best to avoid confrontation altogether. Giving credence to their words is a battle you're bound to lose. If a narcissist starts insulting your character, undermining your credibility or questioning your mental health simply because you're engaging with them, it's a clear sign to halt communication. Engaging in arguments with them only drags you down to their level, which isn't worth your time or energy. Narcissists evade responsibility by shifting blame onto others and mistreating them under the guise of their supposed intelligence. They expect blind acceptance of their words without regard for the truth, unwilling to acknowledge their own faults or validate your perspective. Instead of offering support or encouragement, they bring negativity and toxicity into your life. Accepting them for who they are is necessary, even if it means acknowledging their unpleasant nature. When it comes to dealing with such toxicity, the best approach is to minimize exposure. Limit interactions with narcissists to the bare minimum, employing the grey rock technique if necessary. This entails responding to them in a neutral, unemotional manner keeping your replies brief and direct. The main focus of this discussion revolves around how narcissists perceive others as foolish, particularly in dating scenarios. They engage in manipulative tactics, such as fabricating stories or avoiding conversations altogether when they're caught in a lie. Their propensity to flee when confronted with the truth highlights their cowardice, showcasing their unwillingness to confront reality. Narcissists, especially those who hide behind deceit, exhibit weakness by avoiding direct confrontation. Their preference for clandestine actions over open honesty reveals their cowardice. While they strive to deceive, it's crucial not to succumb to their manipulative schemes. Many individuals unknowingly engage with narcissists, falling into the trap of heated arguments fueled by gaslighting and manipulation. It's intriguing to observe how a cheating narcissist often brings up trust issues, attempting to sow doubt and maintain control. Their penchant for labeling others as crazy serves to undermine their victim's sanity, but it's imperative not to be ensnared by such tactics. Remember, you owe no explanations to a narcissist. They are unworthy of your time, care and attention and investing in them only squanders your precious time and energy on their games. Maintaining focus is crucial when dealing with narcissists who excel at gaslighting, belittling and tarnishing reputations. Recognize the signs when they attempt to discredit you with negative labels or deny the validity of your claims. It's all part of their ploy to manipulate and control, fueled by their perception of your supposed gullibility. Disengaging from the narcissist is the most effective way to assert your strength and resilience. Avoid engaging with them, as they are likely to deny your truths and escalate the situation, leading to unnecessary stress. Protecting yourself sends a clear message that you refuse to be manipulated or undermined, without the need for explanations to someone unworthy of your attention. I speak from experience because I've been there myself. I used to engage in endless arguments with narcissists, 
hoping they would see things from my perspective. However, I soon realized it was futile because they remained indifferent to my viewpoint. Narcissists have blatantly told me, I don't care about what you have to say. Even when I spoke the truth, it became clear to me that I needed to sever ties with these toxic individuals. Their self-centered nature prevents them from understanding or empathizing with others' experiences. They prioritize only what serves their interests and perspectives. When you find yourself entangled with someone who disregards your feelings and refuses to empathize, it's essential to distance yourself from such toxicity. Refuse to be treated as a mere pawn in their game. Maintain your composure, trust in your abilities, and remain steadfast in your convictions. Narcissists are notorious for their manipulative tactics, often resorting to cunning maneuvers. They might feign a temporary absence from your life, only to resurface later, or they could inflict emotional harm, leading to the termination of the relationship, only to shower you with affection again. Their goal is to make you feel foolish and powerless. It's crucial never to fall for the same trick twice. When someone reveals their true colors, that's who they are, and they've likely been that way all along. Another vital lesson I've learned is that narcissists struggle with trust. I learned this lesson the hard way. When you're involved with a narcissist who lacks trust, forging a deep connection becomes nearly impossible. Despite outward appearances of amiability, narcissists harbor deep-seated trust issues that prevent genuine intimacy. These issues often stem from a tumultuous childhood or an insatiable need for control. Their need for control may originate from feelings of powerlessness during their formative years, driving them to seek dominance as adults. Different types of narcissists employ various strategies to maintain control. Overt narcissists may resort to threats, yelling, or violence, while covert narcissists may employ silence, avoidance, or spreading rumors. Understanding their tactics can empower you to navigate your interactions more effectively. However, it's essential never to engage in a battle of words with a toxic ego. When faced with gaslighting or manipulation, the best course of action is often to disengage and remove yourself from the situation. This is a crucial strategy for dealing with such individuals. Narcissism is often associated with terms like gaslighting, triangulation, and breadcrumbing. When a narcissist engages in these behaviors, their primary aim is to manipulate others for their own benefit. They seek to deceive you into placing trust in them, thereby lowering your guard. Once they have gained your trust, they exploit it to fulfill their own desires, whether it be for physical intimacy, financial gain, or other forms of material support. Essentially, narcissists operate as skilled manipulators, meticulously planning their moves to extract what they want from you. Sometimes, they may manipulate situations simply to boost their own ego and sense of self-worth, even if it means causing conflict or belittling others. Others may fabricate arguments or create unnecessary drama as a pretext to seek alternative sources of validation. Their interactions are often woven with deception and manipulation, making it crucial to discern between truth and falsehood. Trust your intuition. It serves as a valuable guide when something feels amiss. Avoid giving unwarranted trust to individuals who haven't earned it, as overlooking red flags may lead to regret later on. Remember, while the truth may be straightforward, gaslighting obscures it, adding layers of complexity to discerning reality. If someone's behavior towards you oscillates between warmth and coldness, it's a telltale sign that they're not being genuine. They might turn on the charm when they fear losing you, only to become aloof when they feel secure, perhaps because they're lavishing attention on someone else. Don't allow yourself to be deceived. I sincerely hope this video serves as a guide to recognizing such deceitful tactics 
and empowers you to put an end to them. Remember, it's crucial not to grant unwarranted second chances to those who haven't earned them. If you detect any signs of deceit or manipulation to achieve their desires, it's time to walk away. Understand that these behaviours are unlikely to improve with time if they're present from the outset. Starting a relationship built on lies, manipulation or games is a recipe for disaster. Given that narcissists often exhibit such traits, it's evident that you're dealing with someone whose integrity is questionable. Narcissists are notorious for their deceitful tendencies, using these tactics to exploit others, fulfill their desires, or inflate their egos. Engaging in such dynamics can be draining and detrimental to your well-being. Such negativity has no place in your life. It's best to step back and steer clear of such situations. Remember, your emotions and peace of mind are invaluable. Thank you for watching this video. Don't hesitate to like and comment if you found it insightful. Your insights and experiences may prove beneficial to others facing similar challenges. Feel free to share this video with those who might benefit from it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to receive more content like this. Your support enables us to continue our mission and reach more individuals in need. Thank you for your contribution. Today's video will reveal the one thing that narcissists are most afraid of, and they'll do anything to keep it from anyone else. A narcissist will always try to put on a show that makes them look like they can do and know anything. What they look like aside, they're scared of a few things, one of which makes their days stressful. Narcissists are known to be self-centered and vain. They believe we put them at the heart of everything we do because they are unable to believe otherwise. People who are narcissists often try to act smart and reasonable, but they're always at odds with themselves. They always have to pick what's real and what's not. Other people are hurt and used by them because they fear being hurt or used by others. They feel like they need to act first because they believe everyone is out to get them. Even though they always think the worst, they always act happy and charming to hide their inner fears. But why do they think this? Today, I want to be clear about this. But first, thanks for watching this movie. If you could help this channel grow by sharing this movie with friends, family, or other people you care about, that would be great. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any future changes. Thank you for your help. Now I'm going to talk about how narcissists see you as a copy of themselves. How does this make them feel? How does it affect the people around them? And how does it connect to their need to be in charge? Narcissists often start by blaming others for their own flaws, bad motives, bad feelings, and so on. That is, they don't own up to what they do and instead point the finger at other people. The narcissist, on the other hand, thinks that everyone is out to get them. They plan, cheat, and lie when they're with other people. They always feel like they need to be on guard against a threat that doesn't exist, but seems very real to them. And it's all because they are afraid. They think that other people don't like them and want to hit them or say bad things about them. Yes, this can happen to anyone, but let's focus on narcissists for now because their fear is so much bigger than ours. You can tell a narcissist doesn't care about or trust other people when you get close to them. The mean or rude things they say in public might sound like jokes, but they're really just letting you know how they feel. To their surprise though, most people believe they are kidding. One way they are mean or put someone down is through dark humour. They think everyone else does too because they treat everything like a game. Even if it's only in their heads, they believe that everyone else is fake, sneaky, always looking for ways to take advantage of others and a liar. Being the best is the most important thing for narcissists. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. 
They need to be ready for everything all the time. They want everyone to believe them, even if no one else does. This game is won by the best person. They treat you like an enemy because they believe everyone else is against them and is like them. It's another reason why they see everyone as a threat. Because they are afraid, they don't trust or like other people, which makes things worse. If you can do something they can't, they will hate and dislike you even more over time. They don't understand how anyone else could be truly happy and content because they're not happy or content themselves. They need other people to agree with them in order to live. It's hard for them to understand that you're unique. They don't believe you're better than them. They hurt you in part to show you at your worst. They'd do anything to make you mad. They would point the finger at you and blame you to make you feel bad about yourself. They make you feel confused and sad because they mess with your thoughts and feelings. Narcissists only want to show that they are better than you and that you should pay attention to them. A lot of people who have been hurt by a narcissist fear them the same way the narcissist fears them. They feel like they can't handle things by themselves. They are very good at getting other people, especially close friends and family, to take on their bad traits and feelings. Someone who is a narcissist can pull you into their world so that you can't leave until you become what they want you to be. The narcissist thinks we are that person, but that's not who we are. If we work hard and love ourselves, we can get through these problems just fine. Nasty people want us to believe what they make up about us. Narcissists, on the other hand, always have a lot of paranoia and other bad feelings. It's a big part of who they are. This person is always tense because they are afraid. They're afraid of being judged or made to feel bad because they don't want to be seen. They see the world and people in it differently after doing it. Every part of their lives is filled with fear, which makes them hold a low frequency. This kind of person is driven by a strong fear. But when they feel like they have power over other people and their environment, the fear goes away. It turns into ego. Narcissists won't see you as a threat as long as they're in charge of your life. They think this game is all about being in charge and having the most points. They can't see the truth because they are scared. There's also a danger that they believe the enemy is outside when it's really inside them. Don't forget that the narcissist fears you the most. Watch out for these people and take care of yourself. I hope this short summary helps. Leave a comment below telling us what you think and what you've been through. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon below the movie. Thanks for taking